Exactly one year ago today, an emergency debate took place in this House addressing the Wet'suwet'en fight for their inherent right of self-government on their ancestral territory. Time has passed, but nothing has changed. Land guardians in Nunavut are now forced to defend their rights and their territory in the face of the Mary River mine expansion. Once again, Indigenous voices are trampled on, ignored, or distorted. The Minister of Infrastructure recently said that government investments are almost binary. You either increase emissions or you reduce them. Madam Speaker, if it is a binary, on which side is this government? Fight the climate crisis or pretend to do so? Respect Indigenous rights and international covenants like UNDRIP or legislate them out of existence? The R O Minister. Madam Speaker, in 1997, the Supreme Court of Canada encouraged parties in Del Magook, um, to pursue good faith negotiations regarding Aboriginal rights. This MOU establishes a path for substantive negotiations towards agreements that would describe the implementation of the Wet'suwet'en rights and title. The parties are working toward an agreement on recognition of rights and the title that will set the stage for future negotiations and implementation. Such agreements, once reached, will be taken back to all Wet'suwet'en people through a ratification process that must clearly demonstrate their support. Thank you, Madam Speaker.